So my name is Jacob Paul Allen. I am a country musician. I play guitar, singer, songwriter. How I got interested in music, you know, when that happened for me, I, I think is, I, looking back, I was interested in music um, ever since I was a kid. You know, I was that little kid um, in front of all the live artists at the time, you know, all you know, the artists that I saw playing music. I was that little kid in front of the stage, you know, hounding them, staring at them. And um, so that started at an early age, but I actually didn't start playing music and getting into it until I was in college, 22 years old. So that was when it all started for me, and I got 50 bucks for my first gig, and it was downhill after that. <laughs> uh, uh, live performances. Um, I've kind of run, run the gauntlet on those. You know, I started off, like I said, my first gig was in a very small place in my hometown called Basic Necessities. It's just a little tiny place, and I got paid 50 bucks to do that. It was a couple friends, family members, and to, a, you know, playing the Whiskey A Go Go in, in Hollywood. Um, you know, so ran the spectrum there. For me, you know, playing for a hundred people or thousands of people, I kind of get, uh, I'm more of an intimate person. I like, you know, making that connection with people. So, you know, I usually try to find, even if there is a crowd, I try to find one or two people that are into it and make that connection with them to have that feel. As an artist, the inspiration for songwriting, things like that, and the whole recording process is a, is a tricky game for me. Um, I don't know how it works for other people, but for my tendency seem to be always starting with, um, with lyrics first. Um, and starting lyrics to a melody and then, you know, eventually picking up the guitar, whether it's that day or a few days later when I find the time to sit down and put the music to it and hashing it all out and then, you know, watch it evolve and put it down for a while and, and then pick it back up. And sometimes it happens in five minutes, sometimes it happens in five years to finish a song. But uh, recording is a whole different beast, you know, being in there and, and hearing everything play back at you and trying to make those edits and figure out what works and what doesn't work. And um, you know, it's a learning learning process for me. I'm still new to this game, but uh, it's been fun to put some stuff out there and, and hear what the final product is. And it's a uh, it's a cool game. I like it. I dig it. I hear this or I get this question a lot. I should say, uh, you know, what's your favorite song to play? Or what's the favorite song you've written? And uh, for me, um, I still get uh, still get chills sometimes when I play a song of mine that I wrote. It's called Uncle Joe. Um, about my mom's. I'm getting chills now. But my mom's oldest brother, um, he was the musician in the family that kind of got the ball rolling for the music uh, in my family. And uh, he passed away tragically in a car accident. And several years later, when I started to pick up the guitar and, and learn to play, I wrote a song dedicated to him. And uh, it still kind of, it, it chokes me up every now and then when I, I still play it. And I've been playing it for eight, nine years now, and it still gets to me, so. The, the, the ongoing question of what, what, what kind of what music do you play, and for me, uh, I try not to use umbrella terms, um, you know, like Americana these days, but so I'm just going to call it country music. I play country music, um, but I'm influenced by people like Tom Petty and Van Morrison and the Eagles, you know, from, from those guys to traditional bluegrass musicians um, to singer-songwriter guys like, you know, John Prine and some of those Texas country musicians. So maybe, maybe you can call it Appalachian Red Dirt because I'm influenced by the bluegrass from the, um, you know, from the Appalachian Mountains and then the Red Dirt country music from out there in Texas. I like that blend, so Appalachian Red Dirt Country Music, that's what I am. <laughs> you know, for me, success is one of those things, it's, it's, a, it's a relative term. And um, when people say, uh, you know, uh, have you been successful or when are you going to think you've achieved what you wanted to achieve? For me, I think I've already reached that. Um, I'm new to this game, I started it at 22 years old, I've been doing it for about 12, 13 years now. but. Uh, it's been a learning curve, but for me, you know, being out there and actually making the step and choosing to be a professional musician and make a living doing it, um, I'm already successful. You know, if the dollar signs and, and the bigger checks come later, that's great, but, you know, being a working musician and getting to share with the world what I love to do and my passion, I'm already successful in my mind, so. Um, yeah, I'm definitely easy to find as far as the interweb and all that fun stuff. Uh, you can one-stop shop at jacobpaulallenmusic.com. That is my website, powered by Reverb Nation. It's linked up to my Facebook page, my Twitter page, my Instagram, and all that other fun stuff. So if you're interested in some Jacob Paul Allen music, go to jacobpaulallenmusic.com. I've got some recorded songs on there, produced stuff in the studio, and I've also got some acoustic stuff on there. So go online and check that out. I'd certainly appreciate it. The big news for, uh, for Jacob Paul Allen fans and people that are interested in my music, I am currently working on my debut EP. Can't call it an album because it's only going to be five songs, but I've uh, been working hard in the studio since August, as many days as I can get in there and paying for it out of pocket, so you know sometimes those days don't happen back to back, but uh, working on that um, new EP, it's going to be called Southern Love, and I can't wait to share that with people, hopefully this spring. <laughs>